Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Happy Record Store Day 2023. It's still pretty early in the morning. Uh, I have just been down to my local record shop, Revolution Records in Selby. I was in the queue at 5.36 a.m. I was thinking, gotta be first, gotta be first. Of course I wasn't, I was ninth in the queue uh, when I got there. But fortunately for me, the, the first 10 people got a, a nice Record Store Day tote bag, so I just managed to get myself one of those. So I'm gonna show you what I managed to get, uh, tell you about what I didn't quite manage to get, uh, and I'll tell you a bit about how you can get some of this stuff if you are interested in it. Let me know whether you got any of this for Record Store Day. Uh, I, I, was, I was pleased I was able to get in, get everything that I wanted and be back home for 8.30 in the morning, which was uh, better than I expected. I have played uh, a fair bit of the Ringo and the Paul McCartney issues already, so I've got a bit I can tell you there about the, what, I, what I thought listening to those. So anyway, the first thing I picked up was actually not Record Store Day at all, but I thought, oh, I fancy the look of that. Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast they had in, uh, so I thought I'll pick that up anyway. Not Record Store Day, nothing to do with that, but uh, that's what I got while I was in there. So I'm very much looking forward to... Uh, having a listen to that, that's this is the 40th anniversary remaster. But the, the, the main events, the main events of the day. So I'm not going to dwell too much on this one because I've already done a separate video. I'll put a link at the end if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but I got this a week ago. It is a record store day. So I got the John Lennon Gimme Some Truth box set, which very kindly uh, received from uh, Yoko and Sean. Thank you very much again. But this is... Uh, this is available in very limited numbers if you want to speak to your independent record store and see whether they've got any copies available. But like I say, I'm not going to dwell on that because I've already done a full video on it, which is available if you wish to watch that. So, let's get on to the main events of the day. So, first of all, I was looking really for, for the Ringo and the Paul McCartney. Ringo Stop and Smell the Roses from 1981. So, this is out today on vinyl and CD. So I've had uh, some success here. I've obviously got the vinyl, here it is. I'm gonna show you all of this in a moment. It looks really good, I can tell you that already. The CD, they didn't have in the shop. Uh, now, I was on the phone to a good friend of mine, mine, Ben, who, thank you very much, Ben. He was able to put an order in, in the, the shop that he was in, Jumbo Records in Leeds, for the CD. So I will be getting that, but they didn't have any in stock, but they have ordered one in. So I will be getting that at some point soon. So let's focus on this vinyl, Ringo Starr, Stop and Smell the Roses from 1981. This is a new reissue, it comes with the removable OB strip, so I will get you a good view of that if you want to read that at your leisure. Now, uh, you'll see it's coloured vinyl and my goodness me it looks nice. So this has got, this is, this is two sides of vinyl. Uh, the, the first vinyl disc is the original 1981 album. And then there is a second disc that's got six bonus tracks and it's the same six tracks that were in the 1994 CD uh, issue of the album, I believe it was. I think it's the first time that those six bonus tracks have been released on vinyl. If you know differently, please let us know down in the comments, but um, I'm sure I read that that was the case. So I had a play of this. Uh, I started off with their uh, private property, the, the, the song at the start of side one, and very very nice sounding really punchy that the the horns at the beginning uh, the drums and everything just just had a lot of punch to them and sounded really good there's no information showing on here about whether this is a brand new remaster or not it kind of everything's labeled as 1981 it doesn't say 2023 remaster by or anything like that so I'm a little unclear as to whether it's a remaster, but I was really pleased with how it sounded. So let me show you these two discs, because they are, they are worth a look, let me tell you. So this is the original album disc here. So you can see there you've got uh, all the, the, the lyrics and the, the credits for the songs. But have a look at this. Very, very nice. Very nice. That's quite staticky is that sleeve, so uh, I'm probably going to put these in polyline sleeves. But look at that, that's beautiful. It, it only really dawned on me uh, a few minutes ago that this is, uh, as far as Paul and Ringo are concerned, this is the Roses Day, isn't it? Stop and Smell the Roses and Red Rose Speedway. Uh, I wonder if that was coordinated in any way. I imagine not. But that's a lovely looking piece of vinyl, I presume made to look a little bit like a rose, rose uh, flower. Uh, but it sounds really nice, as I say. Let me have a, let you have a look at the 
the other disc that's got the bonus tracks on. So this comes with a picture, um, like a sort of a negative kind of version of the back sleeve there. And then the lyrics for the songs on the other side. And this is, again, very, very staticky. So I'm gonna swap the sleeves on this. Come on. But this is very nice looking again. I hope you can get the effect there. I think, you, I think yeah, I think you can. It's a little bit see-through. Mm, is it? No, maybe not. Maybe not. But oh, I think it's a tiny little bit. But that's a beautiful looking piece of vinyl, is that? So I'm really, uh, really happy with that. Because uh, I don't have much ring on vinyl. Uh, just Bokuza Blues that I bought a, an original 1970 pressing of uh, a couple of months ago. So this is kind of my first brand new Ringo vinyl, so very happy with that. I took the shrink wrap, up in, wrap off in advance. There was no hype stickers or anything on it, so there was nothing to show you there. Uh, so there's no reason for you to need to see me take the shrink wrap off on that. So if you're wanting that one, then uh, contact your local independent record store. See if they've got any in now. Some record stores, generally what they do, once record store day finishes, at some point they will put the stock that they've still got online to buy. I know some record shops are doing that tonight. Some are doing it tomorrow or Monday. Uh, but maybe keep an eye out if you can't get to a store, see whether or not they've got any available still or whether they're even able to order some more in. So that's Ringo. This now is the uh, Paul McCartney Wings that I'm going to show you, uh, Red Rose Speedway, and I'm going to show you how it compares to a couple of other different versions as well, just for comparison. So, here it is. Starting to become a nice little collection is this uh, McCartney Half Speed Mastering. We, we've now got the ones you see behind me, this is the fourth in the collection, the blue strip. So again, let's get you a, well let's get it the right way around, let's get you a, a look at that. And then on the back we've got the, the track list in there and we've got the, the credits for it. So, this, uh, the cover is very nice looking. It's quite, it's quite matte. Uh, if I show you in comparison the Archive Collection version, which hopefully it'll pick up on camera, that's very glossy, is the Archive Collection, whereas this is... It still it still shines a lot on there, but it's it's much more matte than the archive collection version. So, very sort of standard version of Red Rose Speedway for the cover. In terms of the record, uh, it comes in a white card sleeve. The static wasn't bad on here; it comes out nice and easily. Um, show you what the label looks like because there's been a few different variations of labels for this album. So this is. That with the Red Rose Speedway logo up near the top. Very nice. So I uh, played a decent chunk of this. Uh, so I put Big Barn Bed on at the start. And it really, really does sound nice. So the, the Half Speed Mastering, I think, again, has come up trumps on these McCartney reissues. It sounded quite expansive. This, the stereo separation is very nice, which is... A feature that I've kind of noticed on, on the previous versions, especially on RAM. I think with RAM it was almost a little too um, surprising was the stereo separation. This one wasn't quite as uh, as extreme as that, but I, I noticed it more. I compared and went back and sort of reminded myself of, for example, what the Archive Collection version sounded like, which sounded really nice. I think this sounds a step up. The stereo separation is really lovely, but it's not too extreme. Uh, My Love, for example, has got a really, really nice uh, sort of feel to Paul's voice. There's, there's some nice reverb there. And I played Loop as well. I thought that would be a really good one to, to go and play because it's got some sort of nice effects and bass and every, uh, sort of bass sounds. Again, sounded really nice. I've been really happy with the sound of this. And as well on the Ringo one, as I mentioned, Private Property, that sounded really great. Um, as did Stop and Smell the Roses, the title track. I played that as well. Both sounding really good. This is also a really good sounding reissue. So that's the sleeve and the cover. You also get with it, you get uh, a sheet here, 
which tells you a little bit about the uh, the mastering that's been done, the half speed mastering by Miles Scholl, uh, who's done that at Abbey Road Studios. So I think I think we've got these in all the previous ones as well. So a little bit of sort of technical information there. And just to show you this as well, so you get the booklet, the, the, the usual booklet that you would get with a Red Rose Speedway vinyl that's got, again, everything you would normally expect it to have in. But again, I'm just going to show you a little comparison to, for example, the archive collection version, because there, there is a slight noticeable difference. Uh, so this is the one with today's reissue. This is the one from the archive collection, which, again, I don't know if you'll pick up or not. But the archive collection one is a lot more glossy than the one that we've got today. Uh, this is this is very much a sort of a more matte version. So really, really nice. Really pleased with that. Um, I did get a comment the other day. Somebody somebody had a go at me online the other day because I wasn't wearing gloves to do videos like this. Can you believe it? It's touching the record sleeves. It's outrageous. Well. Deal with it. Deal with it. You know, these things need to get touched. I'm not going to go wearing gloves to handle my records. That's not going to happen. You know, these things are to be used and enjoyed, but while still looking after them. Um, sorry, it just annoyed me a little bit, did that. But uh, anyway, that is the Paul McCartney Red Rose Speedway. Half Speed Master to go along with the others. It's going to be really interesting to see whether this series continues for Band on the Run at the back end of the year. Um, there's all sorts of theories and um, guesses going on about what on earth they're going to do for Band on the Run 50th anniversary at the end of this year. And, and I've got some thoughts as well. I'll probably do a video about it fairly soon. Um, all speculation, of course, at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is to tie in with the 50th anniversary, which I think we're about a week away from the actual anniversary at the moment. So an album that I've really, really come to enjoy, especially over the last sort of five years or so. I've really appreciated this album a lot more than I ever did and really glad that we've now got this half speed remaster as a as an alternative to the other versions that that, that are around. So that's what I've picked up for Record Store Day this year. Um, I hope that you got what you wanted, if indeed you did want anything. And don't forget, if you want any of this stuff or any of the other stuff that's available, because uh, there's, there's hundreds of titles released, then have a chat with your independent local record store and see what they've got left in or what they're potentially able to get in for you and good luck with that. So thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon. See you later. Bye.